Hi students, in this lecture, I am going to discuss few problems based on Doppler effect. See the question. A car is moving towards a wall with a velocity 20 meter per second. Frequency of the car horn is 320H. Find the frequency of the reflected wave as observed by the car driver. So we have to calculate frequency of the reflected wave as observed by the car driver. And speed of a sound in air is 340 meter per second. Right. So first of all, condition is car is moving towards a wall. Velocity 20 meter per second. Given towards a wall. Frequency 320. Speed of a sound 340. Frequency of the reflected wave as observed by the car driver. See how to start the problem. So first write down the given data. So car is moving with a velocity 20 meter per second <clears throat> towards a wall. There is a wall. Given velocity of sound <clears throat> in air. Three forty meter per second, and original frequency. <clears throat> original frequency it is given us three twenty h. We have to find frequency of the reflected sound, right, as observed by the car. So this is now given data. <clears throat> car is moving with a speed 20 meter per second. Frequency of the car horn 320H. Velocity of a sound in air 340 meter per second. We have to find frequency of reflected wave as observed by car driver. See coming to here, we are taking this problem as two parts. As you can see in two steps. Step one, you just imagine there is a person on the wall. Imagine there is a person on the wall. Now this person becomes listener. Car is becoming source. This, this person becomes now listener. So listener stationary, source is moving. Then frequency observed by the listener. Let us take that as F1. F1 equal to F0 into so we have relation V plus R minus VL by V plus R minus VS right now substitute values in this. <clears throat> so it is equal to F naught. Listener. Now listener is stationary. They are taking just imagine a person on the wall. <clears throat> that means listener is now at rest. So VL0. So it is only V. It is only V. Right. Next, coming to source. Source is moving towards the listener. So frequency has to increase. So frequency has to increase means denominator must be less. Right? So I'm writing here V minus V minus velocity of source. Nothing but velocity of core. 
I'm taking as V suffix C velocity of comet P. So this is a frequency observed by that person. This is frequency observed by that person. Right? Now this sound is reflecting from the wall. This sound is reflecting from the wall. That means now what happens is we are taking the wall as a source. We are taking wall as a source, cord driver as listener. It is now step two. Okay. In step two, what we are doing? Taking the wall as a source whose frequency is F1. Okay. Taking the wall as a source. It's a frequency F1. Source is stationary because the wall is not moving. Now car driver becomes listener. So listener moves towards a, a source which is at rest. Then frequency observed. So taking that as FR at frequency of the reflecting view as observed by car driver is equal to F1. That is now original frequency because wall is now taken as a source. Now, listener moving towards the source. So I'm writing here V plus VL. VL means velocity of car. So why it is a plus means frequency has to increase. Right? Source is now stationary. So take me this way. <clears throat> right? Now, now substitute the value of F1 in this one. Then see what we get. F0. B gets cancelled. It is V plus VC by V minus VC. Okay. This is now frequency observed by the chord driver. That means frequency of the reflected sound as observed by the chord driver. Now put values in this. F not given 320. V value given 340. 340 plus 20. It is 360. 360. <clears throat> 340 minus 20. It is now 340 minus 20. That means final answer is 320. 320 gets cancelled. It is now 360H. This is a final answer. So here you have to focus on step one. Take the wall as listener. Find frequency. F1. Now take wall as a source. Call driver as listener. That is step. Okay. Right. Now see next problem. A sound wave of frequency F travels horizontally to the right. It is reflected from a large vertical plane surface moving, <clears throat> moving to left with the speed V. The speed of a sound in the medium is C. <clears throat> See what is given here. A sound wave of a frequency of travels horizontally to the right. It is reflected from a large vertical plane, plane surface moving to left with a speed V. The speed of a sound in the medium is a C. So this is a previous IIT problem, 1995, given for two marks. And see options what are given. The number of waves striking the surface per second. Number of waves striking the surface per second. So in this, what we can do? Ask the frequency, right? <clears throat> right. Next, we have to calculate wavelength of the reflected wave. Wavelength of a reflected wave. Right. 
next frequency of the reflected wave is see this is almost same as the previous problem only change in the previous problem wall was at rest here that plane surface is moving and coming to here regarding source nothing mentioned so we are taking source is not moving i am repeating this problem almost same as previous problem in previous problem car was the source and wall stationary coming to here source not moving but plane is moving that is the only change right okay so number of waves striking the surface per second frequency we have to calculate wavelength of the reflected wave we have to calculate frequency of the reflected wave so for reflected wave we have to calculate wavelength and frequency next number of beats heard by stationary listener to the left of the reflecting surface right so these are the options given let us see how to start the problem right regarding source nothing is mentioned we are taking source not moving source not moving it's a frequency given as f means original frequency is f f not is f okay there is a plane surface a plane surface a plane surface now that is moving towards the source with a velocity v right and given speed of a sound as a c c is now speed of a sound okay right first of all we have to focus number of waves striking the surface per second that means what we are doing here you just imagine there is a person sitting on this plane now he becomes listener. Just imagine a person sitting on that plane. Now he becomes listener. Source is stationary. Listener moving towards a source. Right now, expression for frequency. Take it as F dash. F dash equal to F into listener moves towards a source. So writing it is a v plus vl already here v plus vl source is not moving so only v in this you are given v value as c so c plus the plane is moving with a velocity v okay that is v by c that is our first option that right? f into c plus v by c so it is a direct one <clears throat> okay now we have to calculate wavelength and frequency of the reflected wave for reflected sound we have to find lambda and frequency so assume there is a person here who is not moving assume there is a person who is not moving means at rest okay so what is the frequency observed by this person then what we are doing is we are taking out this moving plane moving plane as a source moving plane as source it is now step to right same as a previous problem now consider moving plane as source imagine there is one person standing in front of the plane standing now he becomes listener so frequency observed let us take this as f double dash that is equal to f dash 
relation are not moving. So it is C plus zero. Source moving towards listener. So it is now C minus Vs. So Vs is now V. Okay. Now substitute the value of F dash. Okay. Not F1. It is F dash. In the place of F dash. F into C plus V by C. Into C by C minus V. Right. That is equal to F into <clears throat> F into C gets cancelled. C plus V by C minus V. This is now frequency observed of the reflective wave by this person. Okay. No? Next, we have to find wavelength. So coming to wavelength of the reflecting wave. Lambda double dash. Okay. You can see with what velocity, with what velocity sound is propagating. It is a C, right? And a source moving with a velocity V. Right? So with respect to with respect to the plane, velocity of a sound is velocity of a sound is C minus V. Right? So lambda equal to velocity by frequency. So frequency how much? Now frequency is F dash. Okay? Because now this is becoming source. It's a frequency F dash by F dash. Then see how much we get by F dash. It is now C minus V by F dash means C plus V. C by F. That is now wavelength, right? Wavelength of the reflected wave as observed by him. Okay. What we got C by F into C minus V by C plus V, right? So we got frequency option A, option B and option C, right? Now he's asking number of beats. Number of beats are heard by the stationary listener. Beats absorbed by him. Beats absorbed by him means. Now see carefully. He listens one sound directly coming from here. That is F0. And one is coming after reflection. That is F double dash. Therefore, beat frequency. Beat frequency is equal to is equal to F double dash minus F. Okay. So one he listens frequency coming directly from source that is F naught and one is coming after reflection. So difference of these two frequencies gives us beat frequency. Right. Okay. Now see calculation F double dash and F F double dash and F so I can take here F common right remaining is now C plus V by C minus V minus 1 okay that is equal to F into, see how much we get? C, C gets cancelled. It is now 2V by C minus V. Okay. That is now answer, right? Now see options. So option A, it is correct. That is matching. Wavelength of wavelength of the sound that is reflected, it is also matching. Frequency is also matching. 
but number of beats are hard. It is not matching, right? So here there should be two. Two is missing. Okay. That means options are A, B, C. Okay. It is multi correct. Answer is A, B, C. In option D, what is missing? Two is missing. Okay. Right. See now next problem. Two identical tuning forks vibrating at the same frequency 256 Hz are kept fixed at some distance apart. A listener runs between the forks at a speed of 3 meter per second so that he approaches one tuning fork and recedes from the other. That means moving towards one tuning fork and moving away from other tuning fork. Find the beat frequency observed by the listener and speed of a sound in air is 332 meter per second. Given frequency 256, his velocity 3 meter per second, speed of sound 332 meter per second. We have to calculate beat frequency. Let us see. Right. Okay. So first write down the given data. Speed of a sound given 332 meter per second. There is one tuning fork here person running like this and here one more tuning for and frequency frequency given as 256 h so this question is taken from hc varma right you can see he moves towards one source and moves away from other source let us say now because of this one frequency, how much? F1, F1 equal to F0, 256. In first case, moving toward the tuning fork, it is V plus V plus 3, right? His velocity given 3 meter per second. So V plus VL, velocity of listener by V. That is 332. That is F1, right? Coming to here frequency. Coming to here frequency, take it as F2. It is F0. 332. Now he is moving away from source. That's why minus 3. Source is not moving. So it is simply 332. Right. Now beat frequency. Beat frequency is equal to F1 minus F2. C value how much? Bit frequency, I can take 256 by 332 outside. Remaining is now what? It is a 2 into 3, right? Let's see. See calculation once. I have taken 256 and 332. Outset remaining is now 3 minus of minus 3 plus 3, right? It is 6. Okay, that means answer comes out to be approximately approximately 4.6 H. This is our answer. Okay, moving towards one source and moving away from other source, right? So, connecting bits. And the concept of Doppler effect, right? Basing on these two. See now, next problem.
a train moves towards a stationary observer with a speed 34 meter per second the train sounds a whistle and its frequency registered by the observer is f1 by the observer is f1 if the train if the train speed is reduced to 17 meter per second if the train speed is reduced to 17 meter per second the frequency registered is f2 if a speed of a sound is 340 meter per second then the ratio f1 by f2 is <clears throat> and this also previous iit problem in 2000 given for two marks you can see here in both cases so train moves towards a stationary observer in both the cases stationary not moving only source moving first source speed was 34 next it is 17 right and speed of a sound given 340 see how we are solving it only train is moving stationary not moving right so in first case f1 equal to given original frequency i think that is not equal for us simply take it as f0 listener not moving so simply v or you can say v plus 0 source moving towards right condition given it moves towards a stationary observer right so it is v minus v minus <clears throat> v minus with what velocity 34 that is this is not first case second case f not v by v minus 17 So now we have to find the value of f one by f two. F not gets cancelled. Next v and v gets cancelled. Remaining is now f one by f not. That means how much we get? Three forty minus seventeen. Three forty minus seventeen. He is asking f one by f2 right so this is how much 340 minus 17 means 323 next 340 minus 34 that is wait wait what i am writing here f1 by f2 right correct one it is now 306 that is now ratio i think here we can take 17 table right then it comes out to be 19 by 19 by 8 see carefully f1 by f2 so it will be v minus 17 so 340 minus 17 323 3 3 6 so 17 table here 19 times and this is 18 times that is now ratio right right now see next problem <clears throat> and this question also previous iit 2003 given for two marks see the question given a police car moving at 22 meter per second changes a motor cyclist the policeman sounds his horn at 176 h while both of them move towards a stationary siren of frequency 165 right calculate the speed of the motor cycle 
if it is given that the motor cyclist does not observe any beats. Important condition is the motor cyclist does not observe any beats. Okay. The speed of a sound in air 330 meter per second. So we have to calculate speed of the motor cyclist. This has been 22 meter per second, 176, and this has 165. And this has been 330 meter per second. Right, to see how we start the problem. Right, first of all, write down the given data. A police car. Police. His velocity given 22 meter per second. Chasing a motor cyclist. Taking M. His velocity ticket as V suffix M, which we have to calculate. Both are moving towards a siren. Take Sirenesius. Its a frequency given 165 H. And frequency of the police car. It is given 176 H. Okay. This is the given data. And motor cyclist does not lesion any beats. That means frequency coming from the siren, frequency coming from the police car, both must be same. I am repeating, does not observe any beats. That means sound, frequency of sound coming from the siren, frequency of the sound coming from the police car, both must be the same. We have to equate now frequencies. See, because of the police car frequency, how much? It is equal to 176. Here, listener moves away from source. So we should write, we should write here, condition given, listener moves away from source. So here, V value take speed of a sound 330, 330 minus velocity of the motor cyclist that is Vm because moving away from source that's why minus. Now source moving towards the listener. So we have to write 330. It is moving towards right. Frequency has to increase. That means denominator must be less. So V minus this is 22. See carefully. Lishner moving away from source. So we have taken minus. But a source moving towards Lishner. So 330 minus 22. Okay. Now that is equal to that is equal to, so here it is given 165, 165. Listener moving towards the source. So it is now 330 plus Vm dividing with here source is not moving. See, it is given stationary siren. So, source is not moving. That means it is only 330. Or I can say 330 plus 0. We get more clarity here. Right? So, now we have to make a calculation. Right? Then see what is the answer. I think after solving this, we are going to get Velocity of motor cyclist is 22 meter per second. Okay. That is our answer. Right. 
So see that problem, right? This is a problem given. See next problem. <clears throat> Right. The first overtone frequency, the first overtone frequency of a closed organ pipe is equal to the fundamental frequency of an open organ pipe P2. If length of the pipe P1 is 30 centimeter, what will be the Length of P2. See carefully. Given condition. First to overtone frequency of a closed organ pipe. It is a closed. So first overtone means third harmonic, right? First overtone of a closed organ pipe means third harmonic. Writing 3V by 4L, right? Is equal to Fundamental frequency of an open organ pipe. Fundamental means first harmonic, right? It is V by 2L. Given length of the pipe P1 is 30. What is length of P2? Right? First overtone. And this is now first harmonic. Right? Right. See it carefully. First overtone of closed pipe, 3V by 4L1, that is given as 30, is equal to first harmonic right, of open pipe, that is V by 2L, right? So first overtone means third harmonic of closed pipe is now matching with First, a harmonic of open pipe. Now, see what we get. V gets cancelled. And 2 here, 2 times. 3 here, 10 times. That means L value. L value is 20 centimeter. So, very simple question, right? Right.